What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about my 2017 obsessions. This is the best of the best for the whole entire year. Grab your snacks, make yourself comfortable, maybe some coffee, tea, and yeah, let's talk about beauty products. Before we begin, in case you guys are new here, make sure you go ahead and hit that little subscribe button right over here, as well as hit the bell so you'll be notified once I upload a new video. And yeah, let's jump right in to the video. First one we're gonna start with is a moisturizer. A moisturizer with SPF in my book is a must. One I've been loving this year is from the brand Derma E. This is the natural mineral skin this is the natural mineral sunscreen bod broad spectrum SPF 30. That was like a whole big tongue twister. This is by far my favorite from the year. Protection from any sun damage is super crucial. Plus they are a cruelty free brand. I'm a really big fan of Germany. Now for so. face primers, hands down it's going to the Hourglass. This is the Veil Mineral Primer Broad Spectrum SPF 15. I told you guys I'm definitely all about that SPF life. This is my favorite go-to primer. If I don't know what to use, this is the one that I always grab for. It has a lotion type of texture to it, smooths out your pores, gives your foundation a nice smooth canvas to lay on. The only downside to this is that it is quite pricey for this bottle. 0.30 fluid ounces. I believe it's 18 or $19, so it's pricey. So I try to use it sparingly. Foundations, I have two of them that I'm gonna mention. Seriously, like my go-to products. This is from the brand It Cosmetics. It's the Your Skin But Better CC, which is color correcting, full coverage. It's also anti-aging. It's a hydrating serum. It also contains SPF 50 with UVA slash UVB. UV I have medium tan and I also have tan. So I'll take one pump of medium tan and then one pump of tan. If I don't know what to wear on the skin that day, this is the one that I grab for. I love the coverage. It has like a lemony type of scent to it. I did do a whole review on this a couple of years back and as you guys can tell, it's still my favorite product from the brand L'Oreal. This is the Infallible Pro Glow. This also contains broad spectrum SPF 15. It has a radiant finish. I think this works really well for dry skin, but even if you have oily skin, it still works really well. It doesn't make my oils any oilier. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I love the coverage of it. I would say it's more of like a medium. It can be buildable to full, but it's more of like a medium type of coverage. It's drugstore and I'm in the shade number 208. Okay, moving on to concealers. I have two in this category and number one is going to the Tarte Shape Tape. I use the shade medium. This has been my go-to concealer this whole year. Love the applicator on this because it has a huge kind of like doe foot applicator that just kind of, you know, you're able to just kind of go ch -ch like right underneath the eyes and it just conceals that area. I'm literally like just scraping the barrel, like whatever's left in this tube because I haven't purchased a new one yet. Another one which I have to mention because I use it all the time. I think it's a really good concealer, but I feel like the coverage on this isn't, it's definitely not full coverage. It's, it's more of like a medium type of coverage. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Concealer in the shade number 03 Nude Beige. Also really like the applicator on it because it's bendable, right? So when you kind of go right underneath the eyes, it um, distributes the product out really nicely because it bends to the curve of your face, which I really do appreciate. Although the coverage is not the best, whenever I use this, I have to always layer another concealer with it. Like I'll use the sharp, um, the sharp, I'll use the Tarte Shape Tape with it, or I'll go in with another concealer. Some eyeshadow palettes, and again, I have two for this category. Now for the first half of the year, I was extremely obsessed with the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. Love the color range in here. They're nice and warm tone, but you also have like your mixture of some greens, you have some purples, you have some matte, you have some shimmer, and you have some satin shadows, which I really appreciate. Now for the remainder of the year, I would have to say I was super obsessed with the Naked Heat Palette from Urban Decay. And this one is just straight up warm tone, deep kind of um, like a brownish, almost like plumish color all the way at the end. And I am wearing these shadows today on the eyes. Favorite shadow from this palette would have to be Scorched because it's that really burnt kind of like 
amber color. These two have been my besties this year. Now, a blush for 2017 is going hands down to Benefit's Rockateur. This is like the perfect pinky blush that just goes with any eye look. I'm wearing it today and it just goes so well. Even if you're wearing a bold, a bold eye or if you're wearing a, um, a really smoky eye, a really dramatic eye. So neutral and just gives your skin that little hint of like a pink flush without it being too much so it doesn't overpower. Now bronzer slash contour palette of the year is going hands down to the Pure Cosmetics Contour Diary. Let's just talk about the packaging on this because it is so pretty. It's like a rose gold with marble. On this side, some powders that I did use only about once or twice. So this side, we can't really count that, but these are the ones that I use throughout the year. It's more of like the bronzer slash contour side of the palette. This one up here called um, Secret is great for contouring because it has a grayish undertone to it, which is, you know, perfect for kind of like creating that shadow. To really warm up the face, I used um, Passion, which does have a warmer tone to it. So these two together were like my go-to. I didn't really use Mystery, which is again, a little bit on the warmer side. It is a pretty pigmented palette. So you want to make sure that you definitely tap off the excess before applying it to your face. So you don't um, apply a bit too much because if you do, especially with um, Secret, it can look a little bit muddy. Oh, so. For powders of the year, I have two of them in this category. Number one is going to the It Cosmetics. It's the Bye Bye Pores Press. And it even says on the packaging, this is like a deluxe size or sample size. It says it makes your pores disappear, which I absolutely agree with. It just gives you like that nice kind of airbrush look. I really, really love this powder. I used to have a full size of it, but unfortunately mine cracked. I know there's also a loose form of this powder. Um, I would have to say from those two, the pressed is definitely my favorite. Absolutely obsessed with the Too Faced. It's the Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. It has this little flap, so product doesn't get all over the place when you um, take off the cap. It does give you a little bit of like a soft focus look. It doesn't have any speckle or like sparkle in it. Love using this under the eye area to set my concealer. It does an amazing job. I'm wearing it today. Now, as for mascaras this year, I have two that also fall into this category. And unfortunately, the first one, I already tossed it out a couple months ago, but it is from Essence Cosmetics. It's called the Lash Stylist 18 Hour... Hold on a second. Essence Volume Stylist 18 Hour Lash Extension Mascara, which is one of my favorites this year because it has lengthening fibers, lengthens and it also volumizes your lashes and it didn't clump, it doesn't flake off, and it's also drugstore. This is the I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. Essence has such great mascaras. I love the wand on this because it just kind of grips every single lash. It volumizes them, it lengthens them. The brow products this year, I was really blown away with two products. Wonder Brow, I'm in the shade Black Brown. It has a gel type of formula. It has like a brush tip applicator, and I definitely need to pick up a new one of this because Mine is already completely dried out. It doesn't really, it's not really supposed to look like that, but this is like that brow product that if you want your brows to stay on the whole day, they're not gonna wipe off, smear off. They're basically waterproof, sweatproof. I did a whole review on this if I didn't mention it and I tested it out in the water. I'm gonna link that right up here in case you guys um, wanna go check it out, but it literally is waterproof. It doesn't budge. It's such an amazing product, especially if you do not have brow hairs or have very sp sparse brow hairs like how I do. This is gonna be like your best friend. Times when I'm just in a hurry and I wanna throw my brows on really quickly and I don't wanna like have to spend a whole bunch of time on them. It's a brow pencil from the brand It Cosmetics. It's the It Brow Power. On one side it has a spoolie. On the other side you have your twist up brow pencil. It's a little bit waxy so it's not so slippery. It has like a bit of like a tack when you're kind of drawing this or sketching it onto your brows. And I love it because it's so quick and easy to kind of apply my brows and then like fade out the front part. I kind of swore that I wouldn't ever go back to using a brow pencil after using the Anastasia Dip Brow, but then again, you know what? Here I am, I'm using a brow pencil. So now we're gonna move into one of my favorite categories, which are lip products. So first one, hands down, is going to the Laneige. This is the Lip Sleeping Mask guys have dry, chapped lips and want something that's really gonna hydrate them, 
plump them and also prep your lips prior to applying any type of lip product. Highly, highly recommend this. It is a little bit on the pricier side. I think it's $20 for this little small container, but it is worth every single penny. Consistently using it, um, especially at night, I would slather a whole bunch on and then leave it on overnight. And then next morning, my lips felt so hydrated and like plump. It made applying my lip product so much smoother. ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip. These are my favorite, favorite this year. I'm wearing one today. Which one am I wearing? This color, it's called Frick and Frack. It doesn't end up looking crusty and gross on my lips. They actually still look pretty nice. I, well, I, I applied this one a little bit ago before filming, but I love the way how they feel because they're very comfortable. It does have a little bit of a tack to them so it doesn't dry down completely but it still does have a really good long lasting power and they're also very affordable. I believe these are $6. Floss lashes and lash glue brand Esquito. Um, lash glue is the Esquito lash companion and the lashes which I'm wearing today and these are in the style Lash Lorette. I don't know, there's just something about Lash Lorette. These have the enhancement but it's not like super, super dramatic. I just love the way how they really open up my eyes. I feel really glammed up when I wear these. And the best thing I love about these is that they're really, really comfortable. It's a cruelty-free brand. That's another plus for this company. As well as the Lash Companion Glue. It has a brush tip applicator so it dries clear. Favorite lash glue because I can go to Six Flags Magic Mountain, go on all of the roller coasters and feel secure that my lashes aren't gonna like be half off um, when I get off of the ride. So this baby like, it keeps your lashes in place. This wouldn't be an obsessions video without some highlighters. So the first ones I want to mention which are drugstore and they literally blew me away this month or not this month. They literally blew me away this year. I am wearing today as my highlight. It's from the brand Makeup Revolution and this is the Skin Kiss Highlighter in Golden Kiss and it's literally like a huge pan of a highlighter. I believe this was like $9. It was really affordable, but you get a lot of product in here. Especially love to put this like right onto my collarbone, right onto the tops of my shoulders. Let me apply a little bit more so we can be a little bit more extra, but you definitely can see what I'm talking about with this highlight because yeah, you get that bam kind of glow with this. Anastasia times Nicole Guerrero. It's the glow kit um, highlighter or glow kit. It's the highlighting palette. Favorites from this would have to be 143. You have glow getter which I love to mix. I actually love mixing in a 143 glow getter and uh, forever young. This little bunch right here were my favorite this year. I just noticed that for almost every category I was sharing two products. I didn't plan it out that way, but I think it just kind of happened because I just don't want to mention just one product even though I was also really obsessed with another product, so I hope you guys don't mind. For so eyeliners, it's going hands down to the Milani. This is the Stay Put Matte 17 Hour Wear Liquid Liner. I just showed you guys this one because the name is still on here, but the one I love the most is the Matte Black. I really love the applicator on this because it's kind of like, it kind of has like a bit of a flex to it, but it's still pretty dense. It's a nice matte black finish and it does stay put. Another one I would have to say made me rediscover um, my love for gel pot liners. I have to give it to my friend here, Lizzie. What would Lizzie do? Um, this is her recommendation. It's from the brand Rimmel. This is the gel liner in 001 black. Mine unfortunately is already dried out. I need to repurchase another one, but it is such a great liner. It's drugstore. It's affordable. It's seriously waterproof. It stays in place. It doesn't smudge. Once it's Set and it's long wearing. It's also a nice kind of matte black. Now as for my favorite beauty tool of the year, it's going to two products, which isn't a surprise. First one is going to the Vera Mona. This is the color switch. Don't use this center piece. I think you can actually uh, wet this part. Say if you want to wet your brush, you can dip it in here. Able to just swish it on this sponge. And then you're able to go ahead and switch out your eyeshadow colors. You don't have to use a brush spray to clean off your brush. This instantly 
just gets rid of all of the shadow on the brush so you can switch from like a dark to a light shadow and you won't have any of that transfer because this just cleans off the brush. And to be honest with you, I thought eyelash curlers were just eyelash curlers until I tried this one from Shiseido. This Shiseido lash curler just like switched up the game and now I see why everybody loves this lash curler. I found this one at Marshalls. I think it was a couple of dollars off. I think it was like $14.99, something like that. But it was definitely worth picking up. No, it's a little bit dirty. It really curls your lashes, and I feel like my lashes even hold the curl when I use this. So. It's from the brand Derma E, and this is the Skin Hair and Nail Oil. This has a little dropper. Apply a little dot of this right onto my lips and just kind of distribute it with my finger. It really does help moisturize. I also like to use this right onto my cuticles because sometimes my cuticles can look really, really dry and you know, so that kind of like moisturizes the cuticles. Other way I like to use this is after I've applied my top coat on my nails and I let it dry for about, probably about a good like five minutes or so, I'll go in and I'll take one drop of this and I'll apply it like right onto my nail. I feel like it does help with the process of drying my nail polish a little bit more quickly. So. Alright you guys, so as you guys can tell I already changed into my like sleeping clothes and I was just taking like up close um, shots of the products and I realized that I completely forgot to mention a product that was like right in front of me. It just kind of got hidden with all the stuff I have here on the table and I have to mention it because it was the whole inspiration for our room transformation and it is a polish from the brand Essence Cosmetics. This is in the shade Grey Zone which I have been obsessed with this year. It's very neutral, it's very complimentary on the nails and it was literally the inspiration for our wall. My husband painted our walls this year and that all in all like transformed the room. It's amazing like what a coat of paint on the wall can do. So I had to mention it because I'm a huge fan of the Essence Cosmetics, um, the gel nail polishes, and they're also very, very affordable. Right, so the last category for my 2017 obsessions is the brand that really wowed me for the year. And it is going to the brand Bad Habit Beauty, which is available on the Shop Hush website. This brand seriously just blew me away. Whole review on this palette, which is a dupe of a Huda Beauty palette. Um, I also have the newer one. I think it's called the Athena palette, which I still have to review. Oils, which is a dupe of the Anastasia um, Modern Renaissance palette. And all of these palettes are seriously just affordable dupes of higher end brands. They're also cruelty free. This brand just completely wowed me. Say if you're on a budget or you don't want to spend that money on a higher end brand, go to the Shop Hush website and I'm pretty sure you're gonna be able to find some like really good dupes of higher end brand palettes. Really, really affordable, great price point for your money. And that is it for my 2017 obsessions. I know this video is gonna be quite lengthy, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah. It is 1.51 in the morning. I wanted to make sure I got this video up before the new year. So I'm wishing you guys a very, very happy new year. Can't believe it. We are going into 2018. I am just so ready for the new year. Ready for a fresh new start. And yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. Give it a thumbs up. And if you guys are new here, make sure you subscribe and also hit that little bell to be notified of new videos. 2018 is going to be a great one, you guys. You're going to definitely see a lot more content up here on my channel. Wishing you guys a safe, happy new year. I'm wishing you guys just positive thoughts, positive vibes, putting that out there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.